always going to be that trust and faith required to just, okay, I will step back and let him lead the way. I, I will keep moving towards this, even though the ego is screaming, something's gone terribly wrong and you're going to be sorry forever having taken the first steps on this path and like the Matrix, why oh why didn't I take the blue pill, you know. <laughs> And the ego will come in many, many forms to try to say, stop, you know, you're just going to disappear if you uh, go in that direction. And indeed, there will seem to come a point where you will come to the threshold of, of the disappearance of the universe. Uh, but that threshold comes with much, much, much being done through, much mind training, much devotion, you know, to put it, <laughs> right when I say much devotion, <laughs> the hummingbird stops right in front of me. <laughs> like, good point. <laughs> like, emphasis on much devotion, yeah. Yeah, that, that the hummingbird stopped right there to just give us our exclamation point for that one. But that's, that's to try to give you a context of this whole spectrum, so that, that you shouldn't be so frightened when you move along into this, the fear will come up, but that's when you need the faith and trust to keep moving, to keep opening, to keep letting go, and and realize that that faith is, is your security, that trust is your safety, and it's in the Holy Spirit. It's not, it's not based in trust in something of the world. You're not being asked to trust the flesh. You're not being asked to trust your past learning. You're not being asked to trust the images. You're being asked to trust the Holy Spirit and trust the one who is the bridge back to eternity. The one who will give you whatever you seem to need in this journey and will renew it for as long as you have need of it. Whatever you seem to need it will be given you, and it will be renewed as long as you have need of it. 